Hi, Douglas Blocking the Play.com, and I'm in Los Angeles, California at Dodger Stadium, and it's time for Dodger Baseball. top of the park here at Dodger Stadium and you know a lot of parks you think about the top decks and the upper decks as being really probably some of the worst seats in a park horrible views are really far away from the field and I tell you the top of the park here at Dodger Stadium is a little bit different the way that the stands are from the field you're a lot closer to the action than you think being this high up you can see behind me that the view is really pretty good up here and if the price is right it's a great place to watch a game Plenty of amenities, plenty of things to eat up here as well as a team store. So you're not sacrificing anything being at the top of the park compared to the lower decks. The nice thing that they've changed at Dodger, Dodger Stadium over the last couple of years too is that in the past, to get down to the lower bowl, you actually had to have a ticket to get down there. Otherwise, they wouldn't let you down there. But since they've revamped center field, they've made it so that anyone, regardless of ticket, can go down to those different sections. So the great thing is you can go experience everything down there close to the field. You can come back up here to the top of the park and still have some great views of Dodger baseball. things about Dodger Stadium, and for me there are many, is that this park is just screaming with history. Every level, from the top of the park, here to the club level, all the way to center field, there is something on every single level for you as a fan to see. Whether you're a fan of Dodger baseball or just a fan of the game, I would recommend you hit every single level of this park because there's something to see throughout. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep showing you more. So keep watching.
saw some quick video of the bleachers here at Dodger Stadium, and I just wanted to give you a quick caveat about these seats. The last time I was here, I actually had bleacher seats. We arrived right at game time, got down to our spot, and we didn't fit. So it's something to think about on these games that are gonna be completely packed, like today's one game playoff. The bleachers have a certain number of seats, and I think the same number of seats have probably been there for a long time, even though we as Americans have maybe gotten a little bit bigger. So if you get here late, don't expect there's gonna be a spot for you. And if there is, expect it's gonna be really tight. If I had a recommendation for you, I would skip the bleachers. You know, when you look at the prices, they're really not all that much better than the other ones. Hey, how you doing? You can hop up, I don't mind. Uh, the prices really aren't that much better here in the bleachers than the other areas. But, uh, you know, I'm not as skinny as I used to be. And I like to have a little space. I like to have a seat. Now the, the seats right in front of the bleachers, that lower section, uh, those are a premium seat, similar to like Green Monster seats at Fenway. They're a nice seat. They're pricey. Keep an eye on StubHub, you'll get a better price. Center field here at Dodger Stadium has been completely revamped. It was actually redone last year for the All-Star Game that was ultimately canceled, and now it's rescheduled for next year. But in the meantime, they completely opened up center field. They added a ton of different food choices, and this is the place to be if you're looking to hang out either before the game, during the game, or looking for food. Your best options are here in center field. card playoff and they're off to San Francisco here starting on Friday and uh, I'll probably be there Saturday. Uh, in the meantime, welcome to Dodger Stadium. I hope you enjoy the tour. Hey, a few quick thoughts. Any level here at Dodger Stadium has some great views. If I were making recommendations purely on access to food, access to amenities, I'd recommend you stick with the field level so that you have access to center field and the amount of food choices. Or quite honestly, that reserved and top of the park areas have better food selections than the standard low seat areas. The low seat areas, you know, they're a little bit closer to the field, but quite honestly, they don't have as many food choices. Access means more stairs and more elevators. So if I were choosing between, I'd either go up or I'd go down for those future seats when you're here at Dodger Stadium. Give yourself plenty of time to get here depending on traffic, depending on the day. 
and expect to pack a whole lot of patience getting out of here because any game like today that's a full house, it's going to be a while to get out. So don't rush. Take your time. Enjoy the vibe. And uh, I think these players are enjoying the vibe here tonight. Probably a little bit tomorrow heading into this Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, series in San Francisco. So thanks for watching. If you thought this video was all right, feel free to subscribe. See, they like my channel. Thumbs up. Keep watching, and um, I'll probably be in San Francisco Saturday. Take it easy. to San Francisco and Oracle Park, home of the San Francisco Giants. And I gotta be honest, I'm a little surprised I was able to do this on my first take because this park has had like 10 names. Today, it's Oracle Park. By the time this is uploaded, who knows, next year, anyone's guess. But welcome to Oracle Park. I'm still walking up this ramp. I'm walking, I'm walking. Park, and one of the criticisms I had of the bleacher seats at Dodger Stadium was that the seats got a little bit narrow and uh, probably didn't fit, uh, you know, this year's or this generation's uh, butt, so to speak. And here you can see that they've actually kind of fixed that because they actually have shaped seats in actual locations on all these. So it's a little bit better to find. If you want my personal opinion, I think they added these in after the fact because they realized everybody's butts are getting bigger, including mine.
I'm at the base of the Coca-Cola slides, and as you can see right now, they're closed to COVID. Can't have kids all touching and drooling and doing whatever they're gonna do in these slides. Now, I've been in these slides before, although they actually don't allow adults in there anymore. They've only allowed kids at least the last couple of times I've been here. Uh, but according to my kids, their last time through, the slides need grease and they're not very fast. It's been a long time since I've been down. Still though, fast or not, I'd still like to go down the slides. The slides are fun, Coke is great. It's like a winning combination of fun right there. Coke and slides, do it. When it comes to food here at Oracle Park, the best place to go is center field. You can get any number of different choices. You've got burgers, you've got sandwiches. Hey, you've got anything you could want out here. Tri-tip sandwiches, you can even get crab. Go Dodgers, by the way. And, uh, eh. So I know the popular thing to eat here is their gross garlic fries. I don't feel like bad breath today. Uh, and I didn't bring gum. So I'm gonna hit center field here. I'm always partial to the tri-tip sandwich. You can get anything out here. They've got sausages, they've got sandwiches, they've got tri-tip. You can get Dungeness crab grilled sandwiches. You can get chowder. You can get any number of different great things to eat and drink out here in center. Plenty of fans out here, plenty of activity. Dodgers suck! I'm actually rooting for the Dodgers. He doesn't know that, but I am. Go Dodgers. Tons of different things to do and eat out here in center field. Or you can just go with your gross garlic fries. Whatever you want to do. If you don't get your picture taken on the trolley behind me when you're here, have you even been here? Park is really similar to PNC Park in that they both have some fantastic views from this upper deck. If you're here for more than one game, you must get a ticket up here in this upper deck for at least one of those games. Personally, I prefer to be a little bit close to the action. I'm more of a lower level guy, but it's hard to argue with these views. You know, my home park is a T-Mobile Park in Seattle, and I know these two parks get compared to, you know, a fair amount just because of when they were built in similar ages, but the views here and location here are things to do around Oracle Park. Obviously outweigh T-Mobile Park five to ten times. It's a real big difference.